C program to check whether given date is valid or not. Now we are going to enter uh, date in the format of DD, MM and YYY uh, from user and then we are going to check whether given date is valid or not. Again uh, we know that all these um, variable that is date, month and year are integers. Okay, so integers next uh, for year we are going to take a range from 1900 to 9999 if the range of year lies uh, in this uh, between this then we can say that it is valid year otherwise valid year otherwise invalid year or again you know, we know that for month uh, month it is a uh, uh, month is lying between uh, 1 uh, to 12 then we can say that it is valid month otherwise it is what invalid month again for month of January March May then uh, July August uh, October and uh, December uh, the day number of days uh, between 1 to uh, 31 for the month for the month uh, ma uh, say, uh, April uh, then June uh, September for November the, the number of days between 1 to 30 for um, February, the number of days depend on year. If it is uh, for month February, if it is a leap year, leap year, then number of days between 1 to 29, and if it is ordinary regular year, for a regular year, the number of days between 1 to 28. 1 to 28. Again, when we said it is a leap year, if it is a uh, if it is multiple of hundred, that is if it is a century year, then every year which is divisible by four hundred is uh, leap year. Is leap year? If it is multi, uh, that is um, if it is multiple of hundred and uh, multiple of four hundred, then uh, given year is a leap year. Otherwise, if it is not multiple of hundred and if year modulo uh, 4 is equal to equal to 0 then we can say that it is again a leap year so now we are going to enter uh, we are going to write a c program to check whether given date is valid or not so again just so include st dot h include dot h wide main now take uh, integer dd mm and yy for days uh, month and year clear the previous output now print f enter enter your date enter date enter date in the format of in the format of dd mm and yy here in this format then uh, sorry in this format next uh, enter this using uh, enter uh, the values using scanf function so scanf again they are they all are integer so percent d d percent d 
and day day and uh, month and year yeah okay now uh, first we are going to check whether it is a valid year so if our year is greater than or equal to uh, 1900 and less than or equal to 9999 then it is what valid year print tab just we are uh, adding here it is what valid year year else else we are writing here it is what invalid year print tab say invalid year okay then close get ch and uh, if we compile this and if we run this if we enter the year between say 2 3 and say between uh, say 2021 then you will get, you'll get sorry invalid year if month is uh, sorry dd mm and yy okay valid year invalid year okay again if we run one more time say say it is uh, two three and uh, say uh, two thousand invalid year sorry it is what yy here not month say yy Now if you run and if you enter say 2000 sorry uh, 1 2 2021 then valid year otherwise if you enter say 1 2 uh, 1700 then it is what invalid year now now again suppose we want uh, we are writing here if month is 1 greater than or equal to month and month is less than or equal to say 12 in that case print here print app print app uh, valid uh, valid valid month else else um, we are writing here say else part else it is what invalid uh, print up invalid invalid month yes okay so now close else part close the first if part year part and uh, uh, year uh, loop and then okay so if we run this and if we enter say 1 2 and 2021 then you can say that here valid month but if we enter month out of range say 1 uh, 14 and 2021 then it is what invalid month so now for valid month again for valid month if your month is equal to say month is equal to equal to one or month is equal to equal to three march or your month is equal to equal to march m m may five or your month is equal to equal to uh, uh, seven or your month is equal to equal to august or your month is equal to equal to uh, equal to um, august then october october then or your month is equal to equal to october no uh, december say 12 and and so we want to write and that is and if your day between 1 to 31 
and one less than or equal to dd and dd less than or equal to 31 in that case okay then it is what if this is true then we can say that it is what valid uh, print app print app valid date valid date date now uh, else else if your month say if month is equal to equal to month is equal to equal to uh, next uh, uh, let's say February April April or month is equal to equal to April May June 6 or month equal to equal to uh, 6 uh, and 8 uh, August September that is 9 sorry 9 or month is equal to equal to uh, say uh, month is equal to equal to November in that case and and if your number of days between 1 less than or equal to day and day between 1 to 30 in that case again print f so here one opening bracket is missing okay in that case we want to write here print app it is valid so valid date okay now again we want to write else a month is equal to equal to now here you can see um, 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 uh, yeah, the month one uh, that is up to um, uh, 12 month the February we want to write the code for February month so if month is equal to equal to 2 month is equal to uh, say 2 then in that case if month is equal to equal to 2 and month is equal to equal to 2 and here uh, and uh, your date between 1 to 28 and dd less than or equal to say 28 then it is again a valid it is again say valid date print app print app valid date uh, valid date okay. now else if it is a leap year that is again else uh, if day is equal to if our day is equal to day is equal to say 29 and and if your year is divisible by 400 if it is divisible by 400 or year is divisible by 400 or uh, say say if your year is multiple of year is multiple of uh, multiple of 4 and it is uh, not century year and uh, year if we year divide year by 400 and the remainder is not equal to 0 that is it is what ordinary year ordinary regular uh, uh, sorry it is what say it is not a century year in that case in that case you are uh, it is what leap year then print app print app Sorry, print tab. It is valid date. 
def else else in uh, if it is not again uh, if our days not between 1 to 31 in that case we want to write here print tab print tab day is not valid day is invalid or you can say here day day is invalid day is invalid and okay and we want to close this else loop okay so now if you compile this three errors missing one okay one bracket is missing here again one again here is two opening bracket if if see here we want to close two bracket here one two two closing bracket is there zero error first we want to save this date validity dot cpp so now if we compile this zero error and if we run here say if we to enter the today's date say um, 20 then 11 2021 it is what valid date if we enter say uh, um, say 32 11 2021 now here invalid day day is invalid 32 uh, is not a valid day so now if we enter invalid month say here uh, 2 then um, say 14 2021 again so invalid month if we run here again suppose we want to check whether leap year uh, is um, whether a for leap year it is given a valid or invalid date so we know that the 2000 uh, say uh, 29 to 2000 is a leap year day is invalid 29 to 2000 days invalid so again want to check here days invalid okay mm. if day is equal to 29 and y percent 400 here one term is missing equal to equal to zero now if we run again and if we enter here say um 29 to 2000 now it is a leap year so it is valid date and uh, again if we enter say uh, 29 uh, to uh, say 2020 it is also a valid date but if we enter uh, it is if it is not a leap year say 29 to 2021 day is invalid correct again say for if we um, enter say 29 to if it is a century year but it is, if it is not multiple of uh, 400 say now here you can see that 2100 is century year but it is not a multiple of 400 so it is not a leap year day is you can see here day is invalid now if we enter a wrong year say 1 2 and 2000 say um, 1700 okay in that case invalid year so all the cases uh, we have seen here and it gives correct answer so you can check here that i am explaining it again first we enter our dd date month and year in ddmm yy format for for this for this if its else part is uh, here or it is else part is where it's else part is here for this if it is what invalid year again this else part this is the else part for month invalid month so for this it is what invalid month now if 
if this condition if our day not between 1 to 31 in that case here else part is where the day is invalid if all these cases are not true if if the statement is false inside this if this if statement this if statement if any if all these uh, state uh, if statements are false in that case our day is invalid okay, thank you